Hey beauties, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and on this channel, I love to talk about beauty content, especially fragrances. Whether you guys are watching me for the very first time or you guys are returning, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly do appreciate you and listen, if you are not subscribed to the channel, you like my vibe, you like the energy, you like the content, consider subscribing to my channel, giving this video a thumbs up and sharing the content we are on the road to 2K here, and I am super excited about it, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you my recommendations for the Sephora sale and letting you know what's in my cart. I have skincare, I have fragrances, and beyond. I mean, how beyond can I go? But anyway, let's get into it, you guys. So if you are not aware, and I'm sure most of you are. My mom isn't aware. My mom is watching. Hi, mom. The Sephora sale is starting November 1st. For those of us that are Rouge members, we can start shopping and save 20% on November 1st. And then if you're a VIB, you can start November 5th and save 15%. And if, you're a, and if you are an insider, you can also shop November 5th and save 10%. And everybody can start saving on Sephora items, 30% off starting November 1st. So I'm going to be giving you my recommendations and letting you know what is in my cart starting right now. So you guys are gonna notice that most of the things that I want are skincare items. Surprisingly, it's not perfume. With me being almost a half a century coming up in July, which I'm super excited about, one of my main focuses is taking care of my skin. And so I have been really heavy into skincare. And listen, you don't have to spend a lot of money on skincare products. If you guys are interested, I will do a skincare video for you guys. But these products that I'm going to mention, they are tried and true. I've been using them for over a year and I have been seeing really great results, starting with Good Jeans from Sunday Riley. This is their lactic acid serum. This stuff helps with fine lines, pores, and hyperpigmentation. I have gone through probably four bottles of this stuff, and I think that is worth the price point that I pay for it. I have visibly seen a difference in the hyperpigmentation. I mostly have it on my cheeks. I don't know if you guys can see that there's no makeup. Liz is not wearing any foundation, brother. I have the eyes, I have the lips, but no foundation. I want you guys to be able to see my skin. I feel like since I've been doing my skincare routine, my skin has really flourished. So this is one of the products that I consistently use. I think it's something worth checking out. This is Sunday Rally's Good Jeans. The next one, you guys, is also from Sunday Rally. This is their vitamin C serum. It has 15% vitamin C. And just so you don't think Liz is playing, this is empty. There is nothing left. This is my second bottle of this. I was using... Uh, a cheaper vitamin C serum, but I decided to give this one a try and I have had no regrets. I definitely see a difference in the brightness of my skin from using the vitamin C serum. So I do plan on getting another bottle of this during the sale. So the next one, you guys, is from Clarins. I know a lot of us have this in our carts. I love this stuff. This is probably my fourth bottle of this. This is their anti-aging double serum. You can see that I am halfway through this bottle, but actually you guys, I'm not going to purchase this one. They have a an anti-aging, uh, what is it? I got my phone in front of me, duh. Why not just pull it up? It's anti-aging, anti-wrinkle serum, and it's supposed to help keep your skin firm and since i'm almost half a century you guys the time is coming where my 50th birthday will be upon me i said well girl you need something to keep the skin firm and in place as we get older we lose the elasticity in our skin so i am going to actually try that one it has a lot of 
good views. I trust clearance. That one is one I'm going to purchase during the sale, but I do want to recommend this because I think this stuff is absolutely phenomenal. I think this also helps brighten the skin as well. It feels amazing on my skin. I'm not going to go too much into details. Otherwise, we'll be here all night with all this stuff I have, but this is definitely one I think you guys should check out. So the next two products, you guys, I don't actually own, but I'm thinking about giving them a try. I heard a couple of different people speak on them. The first one is this is the Elements Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This, you guys, is supposed to be a three-in-one transformative balm that softens, that softens, nourishes, and removes makeup, daily grime, and impurities. And you can also use it as a mask. The fact that it has collagen in it is something that really got my attention. As I said, I am taking my skincare really seriously and I am thinking about giving this a try. Comment down below if you guys have tried it and let me know what your thoughts are. I'm a little hesitant about this because this is on the pricier side. And although I can get 20% off now, what happens if I really love it? And then I want to buy it again and I can't get 20% off. You know what I mean? So I'm a little hesitant, but I also want to give it a try. So let me know if you guys have tried it. Okay. And then the next one, you guys, is this Charlotte Tilbury Daily Glow Toner with Niacinamide. I heard Roxanne speak about it. We are around the same age and her skin looks really amazing. And she just swore that this was the best thing ever when it came to toners. So I'm thinking about giving this one a try myself. If you guys have tried it, let me know what you think. I've heard so many good things about Charlotte Tilbury's products. So I, I probably will get this one, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, guys, now we're gonna do the cha-cha slide on over to the makeup, to the left. Take it back one time. One hop this time. Uh, okay, anyway. Let's slide on over to the makeup. I do have some makeup recommendations. Surprisingly, I am not buying a lot of makeup. I don't really need anything. However, I want to tell you guys some of my makeup favorites. We're starting off with House Labs Foundation. I love, love, love this stuff. This has got to be one of my favorite foundations. Let me see if I can put a little bit on my hand so y'all can see. I am in the color 370. This is what it looks like. So it runs down a little bit. It has medium coverage and it just looks really fabulous on my skin. You guys, it's to me, it's not too matte and it's not too dewy. It just has the perfect finish. And I absolutely love this stuff. It's long lasting. It is very transfer resistant. It's definitely one to look into. And then this next foundation, you guys, is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Air the Airbrushed Flawless Foundation. I am in the color 12. This one, you guys, is more thicker. This is a matte foundation. And I also love the finish on this as well. And it's also supposed to reduce wrinkles and I like stuff that's good for the skin and aging and all of that especially since I'm a middle-aged chick so this one is definitely well now you guys saw how the house labs was kind of running down this one she's not moving she's staying in place so this one is thicker and I think that this is good for the winter time because it looks more moisturizing and a little bit of both of these goes a long way so both of these are definitely worth checking out the next product you guys is the fenty eavesdrop skin tint foundation stick i like this one better than the liquid it is so convenient most of the time when you guys see me on here with some type of foundation or something on my face is this and although this is not a foundation I feel like this works as like a light to medium coverage foundation. It doesn't come off that easily. I can easily wear this all day long. This is my summer shade and I'm actually, I'm running through this stuff because I use it all of the time. I think that this stuff is much better than the liquid 
definitely one to check out. And you guys, since we're talking about Riri, Miss Robin, Fenty, these gloss sticks, you guys. I love these. I am wearing the color hot chocolate today. I love that they're shiny. They're lipstick. It's like lipstick and lip gloss at the same time. Just this beautiful shine with these really wonderful colors. We have the Fenty. This one is the um, real MVP, the one she wore during the Super Bowl, that color. And then this one is the color hibiscus right here i like all of this it's my goal to have every last one of them that's my goal i just love these i love how they feel on my lips they're just easy to wear they don't bleed all over the place i don't have to worry about it on my teeth these are really good and yes you guys let, let's let's address a little elephant in the room because i started not to mention Rihanna, because if you are subscribed to Fenty's website, she has sales all the time. So yes, you can purchase all of her items from her website. You could probably purchase all of these from their individual websites, but I love the Sephora sale. I love that I can get 20% off. I love my points. I love my Rouge status. Let's move on to the next product. Since it's the winter time, if you're looking for a nice, cool tone eyeshadow palette, the Natasha Denona, what is this, Xeon palette is really nice. I'm actually wearing it today. Do, don't judge me. Don't talk about me when I show y'all this messy palette. All it means is that I use it. Look at the colors. Aren't they cute? I love a good dark some good dark colors. I do. I love these dark blues. I love the black. I love the gray. All of that. I'm actually wearing it today. I am not a makeup artist. Okay. I do the best I can, especially with no glasses on. But this is the look that I created with this palette. Super cute in my opinion. And yes, Natasha Denona's palettes, they're kind of on the pricier side, but when you think about how many colors you get in one palette, I think that it's a good deal and they're very pigmented colors. Okay. So as you can see, it's given. What do you guys think? I think I did all right for someone who can't see without my glasses. Like, look, I'm looking at the window in the camera and I can see the colors of my face, but not like my eyes. Let's move on. Y'all don't need to know my um, vision. Ooh, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Right. Okay, you guys, I have one more makeup product for you before we move on to the beloved perfume. This is the Sephora Waterproof Eyebrow Pencil. So this, you guys, saves me when I went on vacation. So. Let me tell y'all what happened. I'm always telling you guys my business. When we went on vacation, I packed two brow pencils, not one, two from Benefit Brow because those are my favorite eyebrow pencils. So I get ready to put my makeup on, pull out the eyebrow pencil. It had like a tiny bit left. I said, okay, well, thank goodness I have this other brow pencil. Pull that one out, that one was done. It was done, done. I said, how did I do this? I was so upset. However, to God be the glory, where we were staying, there was a, it was a resort and there was a, a mall attached. Like you go out of the hotel and you walk into this mall. It was absolutely beautiful. And what was so like the most beautiful part, well, one of the most beautiful parts of it there was a Sephora in there and there was a Lush. And I was like, what? <laughs> Ran in Sephora and got this. I did not want to buy the Benefit Brow Pencil because you guys, I can only buy those pencils during the um, Ulta uh, 21 Days of Beauty sale when they're half off. I refuse to pay uh, for a price. I refuse to pay 20% for those. I'm sorry. Call me cheap, but whatever. So I picked this one up and it was perfection. 
I'm wearing it right now. No, the eyebrows are not perfect, but this was really good for $13 and this is going to be 30% off. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to be getting about three of these just to have um, as backups because I'm, I really like this. I thought, I think it's really good. Um, I don't know what color I'm in, but this works just as good as the Benefit Brow Pencil, you guys. So this is another recommendation for the sale. They're waterproof eyebrow pencils. Okay, you guys, let's move on to our favorites. If you're still here, let me know in the comments. Say, Liz, I'm still here. I'm riding with you to the end, okay? Perfume. I know there are a lot of videos going out for the Sephora sale. People are giving their perfume recommend ugh, their recommendations. So I wanted to give you guys mine and they're going to be a little different possibly from everybody else's. Let's start off with this beauty right here. Marc Jacobs Perfect Elixir. I wore this, you guys. And I said, oh, Marc Jacobs has done it again. They have done it again. I heard AI talk about this and I was already interested in it. You guys saw I picked this up in a haul and she wasn't lying. This smells so good, you guys. It's fruity in the opening. It smells, oh, really good. It smells like the perfect line but it's a little different because it doesn't have that almond note. Originally, I thought this had honey in here, but I don't think it does. Whatever it, whatever is in here, it smells good. I'm not an expert with this, you guys. I think there's some white florals in here, maybe some sandalwood or something in here. This smells so good. Signature scent worthy. If you are looking for a one and done, this is it right here. And if you buy this little cute baby one ounce bottle like I did, you can get, uh, you can pay less than $100 because I think this retails for $94. So depending on how much you would get off, this would be under 100. This is really good. I love the color of the shoes. This is Marc Jacobs Perfect Elixir. And you guys, this is my favorite top now that I look at it from the line. Some of their tops are doing too much, but y'all, this is my other favorite color. So you got my purple. You have like this blue, almost teal color. It's not doing too much. This is cute. The whole thing is just, is giving. This is definitely one, you guys. Go in Sephora and just start spraying perfume to smell something so you can kind of get a feel for uh, if you like the fragrance or not. This is really nice. Now, I know a lot of people are probably recommending this. I'm going to recommend this too, but I'm going to give you a disclaimer about this in a minute. This is Burberry Goddess, the original. You guys, this is one of my most complimented fragrances, and I know that she wasn't as loved as I felt she should have been. And that's okay because we don't all like the same things. But this is just such a beautiful, beautiful one and done fragrance. It smells so, so good. You got all that vanilla in here. You have cacao. You have ginger. You have lavender. When I first got this fragrance, I didn't get a lot of lavender, but as this has gotten older, I definitely get it now. Oh, just absolutely beautiful. Burberry Goddess, uh, the original now. The disclaimer is, if you like Middle Eastern fragrances, be on the lookout. I have a video coming up. Don't buy this. Just wait until we talk about the dupe, okay? Now, you guys, I'm also going to mention her little sister. Her little sister did not receive a warm welcome here in FRATCOM. I actually like the little sister. Now, before this video, I sprayed a little bit because, you know, stuff changes and I haven't, I haven't smelled it in a while. Yeah, this is the one I sprayed it on. You still have the Burberry Goddess vibe with the vanilla but there is that patchouli in here, you guys. But the patchouli, in my opinion, in Liz's nose, 
She smells it. The signals go up to her brain. The patchouli is not off putting. It just gives it a nice foundation. It's not too earthy. The lavender in here is there, but it's all just blended well together to me. I really, really like this and I feel this is full bottle worthy. I do and I am actually going to get one, not right now, but I do plan on getting one in the future. And to my fellows out there that have subscribed to me, hey guys, what's up, what's up? To you guys or to you all that like a masculine leaning fragrance, Y'all can pull this off too. I'm telling you, wait till I bring Michael on here. I, I need to call him, but let me tell y'all a secret about my brother real quick. I love him. I really do. And y'all will meet him soon. The ones that are newest to my channel. When I call Michael and any of my family can attest, I have to set aside two hours of my time because that's how long we're going to be on the phone. So I will call him tonight or maybe tomorrow so I can set something up so you guys can meet him. I want to know what he thinks of this. I think this is a perfect, perfect fragrance to get your nose on. At least get a travel size, y'all. And check it out. Burberry Goddess Intense. The next one, you guys, is from Fleur. And this is Vanilla Skin, the body mist. I haven't smelled the uh, perfume, but... I love this. This this works for me. This gives everything I wanted to give. It has that sugary crystal, granulated sugar smell. It has the woody vanilla vibe going on. This is perfect for like if I took a shower right now after the video, rather not right now for y'all, but you know, and I spray this on. This is going to be perfect. Yes. This is good. And we wear her in this house. I love this. We as in me. This is a really nice, affordable one, y'all. She's affordable. So definitely give her a try. This is Fleur's Vanilla Skin, the body mist. This next one, you guys, is Tom Ford Soleil Neige. Now, I know she is the, probably out of all of these, she is the most expensive. No, she, yeah, she's the most expensive one. But this is so good, y'all. This is so good. This is a very hard fragrance for me to describe. But when I pulled it out for the video and I was smelling it and I'm smelling it now, something about this reminds me of Mont Blanc's signature. Do I, am I saying they smell alike? No, don't, don't quote me or, you know, how rumors star Liz, naturally Liz said, this smells like Mont Blanc's signature. No, it, it reminds me of Mont Blanc's signature. It has a creaminess, a creamy vibe to it. Like they're really distant cousins that they found each other on Ancestry.com. That's how they kind of are related. It smells good. It's sweet. It has this weird kind of smell to it. I don't know if it's the carrot seed in here. This is clean. It kind of smells a little cold. It is just so nice, y'all. My description of that was not good. I, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But my advice to you, because not everyone will like this, is to go in a Sephora and probably a standalone Sephora, not one that's in Kohl's. I don't think they have this and smell it. I think it's very nice, unique. If you're one of those people who don't want to wear something that everybody else wears and you want to spend a little bit, I would say try this. This is good. There's something creamy about this and clean, but not like laundry clean, but just a unique cleanness to it. Oh, Liz, you are not making this sound good. I'm sorry, but this is a good, very good fragrance that I always get compliments on. Tom Ford Soleil Neige. So this next one, you guys, is more on the affordable side. This is Cherry Ambition from The Seven Virtues. I really like this one. This is cherry, saffron. I think there's some kind of marshmallow in here. It's sweet, it's sexy, it's flirty. It's, it's just fun. 
it's like a sexy flirtatious fun and the cherry in here is like a dark cherry so this says best for feeling brave igniting ambition and making a statement i think it could do that i i can see it i don't know how big of a statement this would make because it's not loud but i think she will definitely get your attention for sure this one is definitely one to check out and i believe i've seen this in the store where you can go in there and smell it this is cherry ambition okay guys so i'm gonna show you this last recommendation and then i'm gonna let you know what i'm thinking about getting it's like three perfumes this one you guys me and her we didn't hit it off at first and i think a lot of people didn't like her when it first came out, but we have really had a chance to get acquainted and oh my gosh, this one, the Delicia Drench Body Butter from Sol de Janeiro. Now, I know the 71 is all the hype and all the rave, but this one y'all need to give another chance. Let me tell y'all another story. When we went on vacation, I just grabbed a bunch of my little travel sizes i have like this little bin of travel stuff and i grabbed this one right here because it was small and easy to take on vacation now you see i've used it right i used it for hydration pur purchase it i used it for hydration pur one more time liz i used it for hydration purposes okay and when i put it on i noticed how thick and moisturizing it was and it has this nice it has vanilla smell in here and there's some warmth to here and I want to say maybe there's some jasmine in here the smell in here is not strong it's subtle it's soothing it's comforting especially for this time of year so I went on Sol de Janeiro's website and that's actually what they want. They want something that's soothing and comforting when it comes to this and something that's moisturizing. So this is not giving, let me look at y'all. This is not giving what these are going to give in terms of smell. It's not projecting. You're, you're not going to get that type of performance with the uh with this one right here is to me this is more of a moisturizing type of body butter with a subtle smell and just to show you guys like if you look at the texture i can recommend this one too this is the 40 this one is actually one of my favorites but if you look at the texture you guys you see that one is more of a smoother body butter more like you know how you have butter that's the soft syrup you can just take a knife and spread it across your toast that's one that's what this one is given in terms of texture or this one is the butter that you have to leave out and let it get soft you see this one you guys is thicker in consistency i don't know if you guys can see that it's more thicker definitely moisturizing i love how this smells yes vanilla warmth and probably some type of jasmine or something but this is not going to give you that shirosa 71 it's not going to give you the 62 it's not going to give you the 40 like y'all you can wear these and that's it not with this, but I want to recommend it anyway because it's getting colder outside. If you're looking something that's going looking for something that's going to give you that moisturizing feel with the quiet luxury, to me, that's what this gives. I really love this. So when I came back, I went and brought this size right here and I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the spray. So this is definitely one to check out. Again, you're not gonna get that smell that you get from this one or this one, the 62. Which one is this one? The 68, 
you're not going to get that type of vibe. Just so you know, I don't want you guys coming for me. Liz, I don't smell anything. It's very subtle, okay? (laughs) Okay, you guys, there are a few perfumes that I'm thinking of buying. I'm not buying all three. I need to make a decision, okay? So one I'm thinking about getting is NDA from Jackie Ina. I don't know what I did with my little sample, but that one has like rum, tobacco, and tonka bean. And I remember smelling it on my hand and I said, ooh, this smells really good. I remember it being sweet, getting some tobacco, but it wasn't like super overpowering or super masculine. And I remember getting a little bit of booziness. Now, I remember, you guys, it was just this little tiny sample, but it left a lasting impression on me. So she is being considered for purchase. The next one, you guys, I'm thinking about getting is Amber Vani from The Seven Virtues. Now, every time I go on Sephora, it's not even making this up. I always spray a little bit of it on the back of my hand. I just find it to be so warm and comforting. And it's one of those your skin but better fragrances. And I can just see myself walking around my job, smelling it, not offending anybody or just cozied up in my house wearing it. It's really, really nice. It does remind me of K. Alley's Musk 12, and I have a very full bottle of that, so I'm not sure if I'm going to buy that one. The one that I'm really think about thinking about getting the most ever since probably last year is this one right here. This is Vanilla Oud from the Oudgasm collection. This is the one that is like 90% that this is the one I'm going to buy. Oh my God, we don't have to smell this. I don't have to spray it. It smells so good, y'all. At first, I remember when I reviewed the Oudgasm collection, I said tobacco oud was my favorite. That's no longer true. This one is my favorite. It is, it smells like melted sugar with praline and some saffron, but it's not super, super loud. And vanilla. I don't hardly smell any oud in here at all. Maybe it's there to just give it a little foundation or something. I don't know. But this one, it smells so good. And I'm concerned. I don't know if you guys can see, but we're, we're right here with this. It's It's coming to an end. So I need to do something and I need to do something fast. And As I'm smelling it, I think she's gonna be the one that I actually purchased because this one is my favorite from the Oudgasm collection. I'm actually going to revisit that collection to see if the other two are better, but this one is one I think I'm going to get. This is Vanilla Oud from Kayali, their Oudgasm collection. Okay, you guys, so those are some of the things I'm going to be purchasing from the Sephora sale and some of my fragrance recommendations. I tried to keep mine a little different from everybody else's. Um, There are the other tried and true favorites, uh, the YSLs, the Libre family. Um, Princess is another good one from Killian, especially if you're trying to get a good discount. I never see that one on any gray market website and I have not and that is one of my favorite fragrances in my collection so definitely check her out if you are thinking about getting that one um let me see the black opium lay parfum y'all that one was sold out actually when I looked at it online black opium over red is another one but actually you guys Some of those fragrances you can get from the gray market too, if you like purchase them from there. I know you can get over over red from there, from Jomo Shop uh, and La Parfum. And also you guys, Devotion is another one. The Intense, baby, we're gonna talk about her in a different video. This is my scent of the day. This one is good. So if you don't like buying from the gray market, you can pick her up. But if you do, fragrancex.com, okay? Okay, y'all. Okay, this is the end for real. That was one of those church endings. You know how the preacher's like, okay, y'all, we're closing up. And then 
two hours later, you're still sit, sitting there listening. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember how blessed and highly favored you are. Stay safe. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.